Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Klaus and thank you so much for tuning in to today's Clash of Clans Strategy Guide and today we're going to be talking about Town Hall 7.5 guys. So for those of you who are brand new to this style of upgrading your base, a 7.5 as well as 8, 9, and 10.5 are all simply ethical upgrading strategies to develop your offensive game, your attacking ability before you develop your defense. And so for a while, your Town Hall 8 base will look like a Town Hall 7, but you will have the attacking capability of a Town Hall 8. Now, why would somebody want to do that? Like, upgrading defenses, you're going to lose loot more often, supposedly. You know, why would anybody want to do this? Well, it is for war weight, guys. War weight is a term that most of us have heard, but if you have not, it is the measurements of the strength of your base based on your defense levels. And the higher up your war weight goes, the heavier your base gets, the higher up in the war roster, the ranking you will be. And a lot of the times, clans ask you to hit your mirror. So if you make the mistake of upgrading your defenses too quickly, you will be matched up against max tunnel eights before you're ready. So this attack or this upgrade strategy guide will help you to throttle your war weight, keep it low until you are ready as you develop your attacking ability as as well as your troop and hero levels. Now, before we get into the strategy guide itself, make sure that one, you have maxed out your Town Hall 7. It's not that difficult, guys. Just upgrade it, max it out, all level 7 walls, levels, everything maxed in the laboratory, level 5 king, etc. Do not rush your base. Check out my rushed uh, recovery series if you think that's okay. Rushing your base is not okay, okay? Um, and also, guys, a lot of you probably went, ah, oh, 7.5. Why would anybody do that? Town Hall 8 is easy. Town Hall 8 is fast. And the answer to that is not everyone believes that. And because I am a common guy and want to appeal to everybody, want to help everybody, not just my higher level viewers, um, I'm giving this Town Hall 7.5 upgrade list. Now, the reason why a lot of people will go, there's no point in doing a 7.5 is simply because Town Hall 8 does not get a super defense. It doesn't get an X-Bow or an Inferno Tower or an Eagle Artillery. And that's true. Once you put those specific buildings down, somebody who is trying to follow a ethical upgrading strategy guide, they're going, they're, they're worried it's going to go way up real fast. Town Hall 8 does not have a defense like that. However, I think that anybody who is a Town Hall 7 or Town Hall 8 and wants to have an ethical upgrading mindset needs to have this content ready for them. I don't mind if it's 7.5 really isn't super viable. I don't care if it's not uh, something that people search up too terribly often, but I do want to reward those of you that searched for this content or wants to learn more about war uh, the war mindset with upgrading your base so if you don't agree with a 7.5 strategy what else are they going to do right they're just going to upgrade their defenses they're going to get probably a little bit over their head at town hall 8 i would rather they you whoever have all the tools that you have at your disposal in order to be a successful town hall 8 so with all that being said guys let's get into this strategy guide Okay guys, day one as a brand new Town Hall 8, what should you upgrade? Now I want to preface this with the understanding that you will not be upgrading any defenses until you are told to uh, because the whole idea is to keep from upgrading defenses and increasing your war weight. So you've got your Town Hall 8, you are absolutely done with that, you are ready to go, you've got three, four, five builders ready to roll, so what should you upgrade first? Well, I think that we all understand that the laboratory is the absolute most important upgrade on the base. In fact, it stays that way from now. It actually has always been this way from Town Hall uh, 3 to, to 8, all right? And then from Town Hall 8 and on, forever. The laboratory is the most important building on your base. So, you want to upgrade that absolutely day one. And for those of you that are wondering what you should upgrade in your laboratory first after this is done, I will throw a, a mini list or I'll show pictures as I talk or whatever, but the absolute most important tunnel upgrade that you can do is definitely the Hog Riders to levels three and four. Guys, the Hog Riders and the Heal Spell, those are the most up important upgrades you can do on your tunnel eight base. Uh, Hog Riders can three-star any Town Hall 8 base in war. I have done it. I do it every 
single war in, in the Knights of Zion, uh, Hog Riders are OP. There's a lot of use for the dragons. You can upgrade the dragons as well. You can use those three star lots of bases. Um, you want to make sure you've got a maxed rage spell. I'm not sure if you get an upgrade for that or not, but get that rage spell upgraded as well if you don't. Um, lightning spell and earthquake spell, which you're about to unlock in your dark spell factory here in a moment. Um, those things help out with barbie BBQ, bolt, bolt, quake, two lightning spells, and an earthquake spell on an air defense to help your dragons take over the base. Um, and if you're really feeling fancy, you can upgrade your balloons for a drag loon attack strategy or Valkyries and Golems for Govaho, or you can throw some balloons in there instead of hogs and use Govalo. So those are the main troops for upgrading for war. I recommend that you upgrade the troops that you use the most often, and uh, that really the, the, there's no secrets to Town Hall 8. Hogs and Dragons, that's where the magic happens, okay? So that covers our laboratory guide. In essence, I will not be doing an official guide because once you get the hogs and everything that I mentioned upgraded, it really doesn't matter what you do at that point, which uh, also I will be asked in the comments about the P.E.K.K.A. Um, go wipe is a terrible attack strategy. I have seen very few three star attacks with go wipe and war is not one on two star town hall eight attacks. So I will never consider go wipe a good three star attack strategy and a definitely not a good war attack strategy. It's a good push strategy if you want to push, uh, up in the trophies or whatever, but uh, I will never consider the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, and everything good for Town Hall 8. So don't even ask, all right? So anyway, I'm gonna get rid of this so I can center everything up. All right, so the next building, we already talked about the laboratory. The next buildings that are considered offensive and usually a top priority for upgrades is the army camp. However, at Town Hall 8, you don't get any uh, upgrades for the army camp, so we can remove that. Um, the next two buildings are your barracks and your dark barracks. The barracks are gonna unlock the P.E.K.K.A., not necessarily important at the beginning of the game or ever so don't worry about upgrading the barracks right off the bat but we are covering the offensive buildings first i want you guys to start thinking about your base not in time not in loot but in offense and defense and possibly even resource buildings that way you guys have a clear understanding of offense first resource second defense last okay so the barracks and then the dark barracks you get two upgrades for the dark barracks and you will be unlocking the valkyrie and the golem super important upgrades for war not the most important upgrades but very very important the next is the spell factory again a common number one priority for anybody who's wanting to upgrade for offense first however again town hall eight does not have a spell up uh, spell factory upgrade so we can remove that and then the dark spell factor guys a new building you're going to get two levels you're going to unlock the poison spell which is very important for clan castle kill and the earthquake spell which is a very common um spell used for town hall 8 war either uh, four earthquakes to break open some walls or one earthquake on an air defense to help out with the dragon or balloon attack. Um, very important buildings, guys. So of all the offensive-based buildings on the base, these are the absolute priorities for offense, guys. And it can even be considered a low priority for the barracks. So if we remove those, the dark spell factory, the dark barracks, and the laboratory would be your absolute top number one priority on the base. Now, these were all elixir upgrades, all right? The laboratory, the, even the barracks, everything was elixir based. But what about your gold? You're gonna farm up some gold while you farm up this elixir. How in the world are you supposed to spend them both at the same time? Well, there are a lot of gold upgrades that are very important on the base, guys, but most of them are defenses, as you may know. So um, what is definitely a top priority is upgrading your uh, your clan castle you get to ha add an extra five troop capacity in your your clan castle now you can hold a pekka in the clan castle if you want to which is pretty good on defense or an extra balloon or an extra hog or an extra whatever you feel like upgrading that's probably the most important gold upgrade on the base but you've also got traps guys um i'm not gonna go through which ones are new and which ones are existing i do know that the uh the skeleton trap is new for you uh, but you definitely want to be upgrading 
upgrading all of these traps and you get to upgrade them and max them to Town Hall 8 maximum level. Definitely the number one way to spend your gold is by maxing out your defense, your, your traps, not your defenses. However, you do get a new um, head in Tesla, which is very important, guys, because these Teslas are act are like are registered as traps, I suppose, and so they don't add a lot of war weight to your base. Upgrade and max out all of your Teslas as soon as you can. They they take a long time, and uh, they're super super important. Also, you want to upgrade and max your air defenses, guys. You get three at Town Hall eight, and because dragons are so darn common, the air defense needs to be upgraded upgraded as well. Make sure you max out your air defense, your Tesla, and all of your traps, as well as those offensive buildings from before, the, the well, from a minute ago, and that covers the main top priorities on your base. Now, a lot of y'all are probably going to ask me about the new walls, and you do get 25 new walls at Town Hall 8, and um, you are welcome, if you want, to upgrade and put those on your base as early as you'd like, actually. Um, the reason why I didn't mention them right off the bat is simply because the extra walls in a Town Hall 8 base aren't going to make a huge difference for your, a difference for your defense. If you want to wait, you can, or if you want to uh, put them in, you can. The, the war weight added from a, a wall group is really not all that impressive. So, new walls, traps... Teslas and air defense, that is what you want to upgrade on your base first with gold. So we've covered elixir, we've covered gold. What about dark elixir? Well, you know, the laboratory is going to cover a lot of dark elixir at the beginning, but your barbarian king is also very important. You get five new levels for your town of late base, and you want to make sure you get that barbarian king upgraded as quickly as you can. Mostly because he's very, very useful for trading off with other kings, with for distracting defenses, and I normally don't use him as a main part of the kill squad, but hey, you know what? Every level of that Barbarian King is very, very useful. So guys, that is all the gold upgrades and Dark Elixir upgrades that are absolutely important on the base. We've already covered Elixir. Now let's say that you've maxed out all these things. You've maxed out your offense buildings, uh, like I said, the laboratory, your Dark Spell Factory, the Dark Barracks, and the the, um, forgot what it was, the barracks, that's why I forgot, because the barracks upgrade unlocks the P.E.K.K.A., and no one cares about that, so that is the top priorities for your base. Now, let's assume that you have maxed out all these things. You also have another Dark Elixir Drill, which you're going to want to take to level 3, because, hey, free Dark Elixir, that's super important, right? And then also, you get a new level for your gold mine and your Elixir Collector, so you want to upgrade all those as well. They're very, very useful. All the free loot. Man, free loot. Who doesn't want free loot, right? I mean, I, I have to admit, it's very, very important. But you also get a new gold storage and elixir storage. You want to upgrade those and max them out as well. So these five buildings here are the, um, or five representing five actually, representing a lot more than five buildings. But those represent your resource buildings. Remember in our list, offense, resource, and then defense. So once you have maxed out your offense and your resource buildings, including the new storage, the new drill, and the existing golden uh, gold mine elixir collector, now you are ready to start upgrading your, um, once you're, you're ready to start upgrading your defenses, which is super exciting, guys. And I think it's important to note that by now, you should be three-star pretty much any Town Hall 8 base that you want to in war. You've got your level 4 hogs. Everything is going your way. Now it's time to start adding some defense and helping out your clan with the with the uh, defensive department. So let's go in straight into the defenses and talk about which ones you should upgrade first. And here is the defenses list, guys. You've got the Tesla and the air defense, which have been both maxed out already. I just wanted to bring them up in case any of y'all missed that point, that they are already maxed out. So we can forget about those. And now all we have left are these. Now, I put the sweeper slightly above because defending air is very important. So I actually personally upgraded my sweepers first before any other defenses. You can do that or you can wait until later. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. You can wait until the end if you want to 
and uh, it's really not that big of a deal. However, I recommend highly that you upgrade your Archer Towers First, remember, air defense Tesla's maxed out. Next is Archer Towers because they are point defense, which means they don't add a lot of war weight, and they target both ground and air. So it'll defend against dragons much better than, say, a wizard tower. Also, it can defend fairly good, fairly well against hog riders. So maxing out your Archer Towers, both levels, is important, followed by the cannon. Same thing. It is point defense. It is going to add less war weight, and it will defend against hogs better than than uh, some of the other defenses in this group. So those two are the number one priority on your defenses list. The third is the new bomb tower. Mine's only level one. I'm going to level two hopefully today. And it will be awesome because the bomb tower defends very well against hogs. And it has about the same war weight, I believe, as the wizard tower. So that is why these two are prioritized after the point defense. Remember, we are always keeping war weight in consideration. And uh, those two both... Both are splash damage, which means they need to be prioritized later on. The Wizard Tower is an excellent defense. If, you, if someone is using balloons against you, Wizard Towers will do tons of work. But most common in Town Hall 8 attacks, especially in war, is going to be hogs and dragons. And the Wizard Tower doesn't do that great on both. Um, it does pretty good against hogs, but your Bomb Tower will do better against hogs. So that is why that is that way. And then the Mortar, guys, really a worthless defense for your uh, war base, and it adds a ton of war weight. So that is why the mortar should really be the last defense, guys. And once you get all of those buildings maxed, assuming that you've kept your laboratory rolling, let's, uh, let's throw our laboratory up there as a reminder. So we got our laboratory. You've also been maxing out your Barbarian King, and you are working on your walls, and you don't want to forget those walls, guys because they are super, super, super important, especially before you go to Town Hall 9, you start dealing with Queen Walks and such of that, of that nature. You want to definitely have all these things maxed out. But let's assume that you have maxed out your defenses, your laboratory is still rolling, your king is still, not, still um, level 10, you've maxed out all of your walls. It is still highly recommended that you wait and max out every single project in your laboratory before you go to Town Hall 9. But... That is going to do it for our upgrade guide, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Please like this video if you did. Share it with your friends and your clanmates and whoever you think would um, benefit from it. And again, like it, subscribe if you're not joined the Klaus family. And I will see you all again next time.